one argument you get is, well, if you, if you put the spine in that position, the muscles around the spine will get, eventually get strong enough, right? The only problem is the layers of muscles around the spine are much smaller than the glutes and the quads. And if you notice, they're also very short. They don't, they don't cover as much of a distance as the glutes and the quads cover. So, that would, so their role is to hold the curve in the spine. So you can easily overpower those, muscle, th those muscles with a normal squatting load, for instance. Um, and then as you get more superficial, the muscles get a bit longer, okay? But ultimately, if you're at that rock bottom position in the squat, the first thing your muscles try to do is get the curve back in your spine. And given the relative size of them, that's where you run the chance of them straining, going into a spasm, leading to whatever other complications come out of it. So, very common guidelines for the spine, right? Don't load in flexion. In other words, when you pick something, when you pick something up, don't slouch into it. Turn, don't twist, right? You never see a baseball player lock his legs in place and try to hit this way. It's a turn. The hips turn, the body follows. A boxer, a tennis player. Um, the reason why you turn, you don't twist is the disc, are, uh, the disc is between the vertebrae. If you twist the vertebrae, it's like wringing out a dish towel. And again, it allows it but it's not, it's not the best thing for it over time. And again, especially say in sports, you're trying to apply force, speed, repetitions. So turn, don't twist is, is another one of these cliches. And then for manual labor, lift with your legs, not your back, which really means hold your back fairly stiff while your bigger muscles of your legs lift the object. Now. These aren't just, this, this isn't just my idea of how the spine works. Every institution that puts out safe lifting guidelines, whether it's universities, Department of Defense, agricultural groups, industrial groups, they all say more or less the same thing. Um, they, all, they, they all advise about the discs. They all talk about lifting with a stiff back, letting your legs do the lifting. They all have the same uh, breakdown of the anatomy. But somehow, when we walk into a gym, we touch a kettlebell, a machine, a barbell, doesn't matter. This is the, the, touching this stuff is going to make me invulnerable. Exercise. The best manuals and exercise ever written. So please let me welcome to the stage Bill De Simone. Until you. you'd be a champion, but it would kill you. Would you take it? And methodology aside, and whatever the quibbles people had aside, a lot of people said yes. So that type of thinking, it's, it's not just CrossFit. It's been around for a while. A boxer, a tennis player. Um, the reason why you turn, you don't twist is the disc, are, uh, the disc is between the vertebrae. If you twist the vertebrae, it's like wringing out a dish towel. And again, it allows it, but it's not, it's not the best thing for it over time. In office are a certain height. You can pretty much do it with all hip and, and quad action and not make it more complicated. Also from the 2000 NSCA textbook. Same exercise, different parts of the book. Okay? And, and neither part of the book identified one of these as the wrong way to do it or a risky way to do it. Perfect. But if you aim for perfect, then the, 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 the natural, um, if you fall short, you still have a lot of margin of error. Uh, 